A Greater Boston starts with nurturing young minds. Boston is often called the hub of innovation, but it's not often that such innovation comes from a high school student. The BBC's Jacob Wyckoff introduces us to the student who's now a national STEM champion because of his medical breakthrough. It's still like a shock to me. I've always been fascinated with, you know, the world around us. Walking through the halls of Boston Latin School, Evan Ding may look like your average high schooler. Outside school, he's a national STEM champion and winner of a $50,000 scholarship from Davidson Institute. I studied the leakiness of the stop codons in genetics and successfully engineered perhaps the world's smallest functional gene switch. By the way, that's him playing the music you're listening to. I first met Evan in February when it was announced he was heading to Washington, D.C. to present his idea on gene therapy. Certain diseases, um, like especially um, genetic diseases, like they have been affecting millions of you know, people in the United States alone. And gene therapy is a groundbreaking method that, um, that scientists use to treat this. One problem with current gene therapy is it's irreversible. Ideas like begin to circulate like in my mind, like, you know, like what if we kind of combat this issue? Evan's revolutionary idea centers around an on-off switch in the gene therapy to be triggered by a certain antibiotic. His first target is a horrible brain disease that causes severe auditory sensitivity in kids called Rett syndrome. As a musician myself, like I've been able to, you know, like appreciate like, you know, how important like music is for the world. It's such an like an emotional like like feeling for me to be able to, you know, help them. How did this gene therapy even come into your mind? I remember in ninth grade we did a project on genetic diseases and the and the disease that I got assigned was actually Rett syndrome. I've always like believed in the idea like of your project is always going to be the hardest step. But I wasn't sure if it was actually like going to work since like since it's, since it's never really been done before. And now that simple project in biology class has turned into a patented idea that even has the attention of Bringman Women's Hospital. Your dreams turn into ideas, yes. turn into patents, turn into actual applications that are being adopted by yeah. different hospitals. That's what dreams are made of. Do you feel like a rock star? Like a science rock star? In a way, yeah, it's a weird feeling, I would say, um, since I've never experienced this sort of thing before. By the way, submissions for the 2025 National STEM Festival are now open for 7th through 12th graders until October 20th. So teachers and parents, here's your chance to encourage your kids to put their ideas to paper and possibly win that trip to Washington, D.C. For more information on the National STEM Festival, visit our website, WBZ.com. In the studio, I'm Jacob Wyckoff. WBZ News. Gene therapist and pianist. Smart, smart, smart.